Good day. Welcome to another edition of Conversations here on Jewish Sacred Aging, jewishsacredaging.com. Uh, this is your host, Richard Address, and we're very honored and pleased to welcome to this um, edition of our Conversations, Rabbi Louis Aaron, the Director of Religious Services for Lionsgate Continuing Care Retirement Community and the Community Chaplain here in Southern New Jersey. Welcome, Lou. Welcome to Jewish Sacred Aging and our conversation. Oh, I'm so glad you. to be here. Thank, thank you for coming and thank you for being part of this. Um, I wanted to explore with you really your role in a CCAR, CCRC. First of all, what is a CCRC? CCRC is a Continuing Care Retirement Community, and it's basically set up to help individuals go through the last years of their life from moving from an independent living status to a status where they may need some assistance, an assisted living, to perhaps a skilled nursing, what used to be called a nursing home status. Mm -hmm. And it's all in one it's location. It's all in one large location and that a person and a, or a couple can really be with each other so that if uh, there's a problem and one... Uh, one of the members of the uh, couple declines, has a cognitive decline or a physical decline, and needs a higher level of care. The other person is just within a short walk away, that people can remain together and still have the care that they need. So as the, as the chaplain for this CCRC, is lots of, what, what's the population is several hundred people? We have uh, probably around 450 people. 450. Right? 500 if you had our rehab. Okay, but that's important. Yeah. The, the, you then really, in many ways, shepherd these people from independence, from what you just said, from an independent living to what potentially is, in many cases, is the end of their life. Well, it's always the end of their life. This is an end stage part of life. This is, no, the whole issue is how to take this part of life and make it as meaningful and as purposeful and as satisfying as possible, but everyone who comes to a CCRC, uh, comes to Lionsgate, realizes that they are writing the final chapters. So walk us through some of these issues uh, th in this journey that, you, that they accompany you and you accompany them on. What, from your experience, is perhaps um, the number one need of the people that you deal with? I mean, the, the word spiritual is tossed around a lot, but what is it, what is it that um, engages you most with these individuals as they go through this journey? I think the issue that most people have to deal with is the issue of loss, letting go. What, what, that talk is, to us I about think, that. the most important uh, issue that there... At a certain time in our life, we need to let go of all the things that we've acquired during life. They are no longer important. They're no longer helpful. And sometimes, even though we may love them greatly, we have to give them up, and they are taken away from us. Is, is that ever replaced? Is that loss ever replaced with something else? No. Ah. The goal is, is that the, to figure out how giving up is a good. So how that, that is the major challenge. It's not to replace it, but to live by giving things up. So the real issue is how to turn loss into simplicity. Wow. So in other words, it almost making a negative a positive, or is that too simplistic? I really do. For, I don't think it's making a negative a positive. It's in some way a type of re-narration. Okay. Talking about it in a different way. So give, me, give me an example of, of I'm well, sure me, you have. Let time. me just say just very basically, the entrance requirement is that you can no longer live comfortably in your own home. Okay. That's a basic. That you need a different style of life than the style of life you've been living for most of your adult life and probably the style of life that you grew up in. So that's the first loss. That's the first loss. Okay. Often that is tied in with a loss of mobility. People have to give up driving. And the general physical losses that take place over time. 
people's eyesight changes, people's hearing changes, people's taste change, our bodies change, all those that are happening. Also, many of our, all our residents have lived long enough to say goodbye to their parents, mm -hmm. to say goodbye to a good number of their friends and colleagues, to say goodbye to a number of uh, their siblings and cousins, and perhaps Child. even children, mm -hmm. and even grandchildren. So they've had personal loss, that is loss of significant people in their lives, and loss of those possessions that help define who we are. They've also given up their working life. So to the extent that they were defined by their profession, they've given that up as well. So what, what are you, on your experience, and you, you've been there for quite a while, and you have yeah. lots of experience with this, what would you say are the keys that you've observed with people in these transitions to make it, quote, successful? To a large extent, it's trying to help people find a sense of self that is not defined by, by resume. Mm -hmm. It's not defined by possessions. It's defined by character. Ah, okay. So this is the, the, so in essence, this is the, the stripping away of the material world, and some would say the focusing on one's spiritual growth or legacy, um, or uh, you know. I guess, a, a point in life when it becomes important to say, what do, how, what do I want to leave behind? Well, I talk about it in terms of developing a freestanding ego. Okay, what, what does that, that mean? That a sense of who you are as, as a human being, now that you can define for yourself and living a type of life that makes sense for yourself. Mm -hmm. To the extent that one is cognizant to do that. Another way is learning to become, helping people become happy in their skin, or to tell people to use the wisdom of Pierre Keavot of who is, you know, who is rich, the one who is happy in his or her portion. And uh, whatever portion we have, we're stuck with, so we have to learn how to be happy with it and make the most of it. Do you find that people, as they go through the journey you know, at Lionsgate or in, in, in your experience, do they, if they lived a certain way in their adult life and their growing up life, etc., do they change when they get to uh, the CCRC, or do they age as they lived? Are there a, a positive personality is going to remain a positive personality? A negative personality is going to remain a negative personality? Or do you find people really undergoing some sort of personality transition and transformation? I find people are always growing and changing. And sometimes people respond to stresses in positive ways, and sometimes people respond to stresses in life in negative ways. So it's really hard to say, though I think the people who understand that they don't have all that much control over the way their life is going mm -hmm. are happier. The people who, the image I like to say, is there are two ways of going through life. It's like traveling on the sea. It's like being a boat owner. There's some of us who are powerboat owners and some of us who are sailboat owners. And uh, if you're a sailboat owner, you know how to sail and you know if how you go depends on the wind. If you're a powerboat owner, you sometimes have the mistaken sense that you can go any way you want. <laughs> and those who, uh, who sail sailboats are happier than those who sail powerboats. Talk to me a little bit about dealing with individuals who um, age out and they and really become alone. Uh, that they how do you work with them to maintain a sense of positivism in life and meaning in life when they're alone? They may have outlived, as you were mentioning before, everyone. And longevity, as you know, is not a is is the accepted norm now. That's really a very difficult question. Now, one of the nice things about, the, uh, about Lionsgate is that we're a community-based organization, mm -hmm. that the, most of our people come from this area, our residents, or they have family in this area. We don't have many people who are, for lack of a better term, dumped or left alone. We do have people who have live longer than their right. immediate family, but they are living in community. So that 
we try to build a sense of community of people taking care of each other so that you may not have the people you have known for your entire life, but there is the potential of developing new family, new friends. And because of the nature of life in a CCRC, particularly in an independent living unit or an assisted living unit, is that people are living very intimate lives. In some way, it's like a summer camp in that in a few short weeks, you can make lifelong frame friendships that people live much more intensively so that you hear people's stories, you meet the same people at activities, meet the same people at meals, so that there's the opportunity to live relationships in a more intense way. So it's, it, it really, from what I'm hearing you say, it, it, it still comes down to, in many ways, the power of relationships and the power of those relationships in a community that underscore or provide this, this very solid foundation as people make their way through these various levels yeah. of a CCRC. And one of the nice things about it, CCRC does, if they're working well, takes away some of the anxiety. Oh, okay. That, unfortunately, it's not available for most people because it's a rather expensive way of providing care for seniors. But for those who are there, they know they don't have to worry about their basic material needs. We were talking and they don't with, have to worry about their basic health needs. Everything is going to be taken, taken care, care of. of. Hence the continuing care. That's right. So we're with Rabbi Lewis Aaron, the Director of Religious Services at Lionsgate Continuing Care Retirement Community here in southern New Jersey. Also happens to be the Jewish community chaplain here in our local area. I want to thank you for this uh, little conversation. And we're going to return uh, with part two of this conversation to explore some further issues of Rabbi Aaron's role and the CCRC. Thank you very much for being part of us and our conversations on Jewish Sacred Aging.